Hello, hello! Today we're heading downtown to the heart of Dubai, also where my university lies. Oh shit, that rhymed. Welcome to my university. Come on in, let me show you around. I'm so sorry you guys have to watch this. <laughs> so this here is called the uh, MGT can ca Canvas. Campus, the MGT. Management. Yeah, but management is MGT. Yeah. This is one of our buildings. To the right here, we've got security. We have a nice little COVID checker technology check whether we have COVID or not with this little thing. Thank God we don't have to do that anymore. To our left. Was that the left or was that the right? That's left. I think that was the to right. To our left. We yeah, have... right. This is where we sit. Once we go in a little bit more. Come on, come on, come on. We have this huge, not really huge, but this, this beautiful, cozy little building. Industrial style design. Very like classy. It's management building. Come on, let's go further. So there are lots of couches, plenty of places to sit. Come here, let me show you the views. Let me show you the views. Would you look at that? It's like sitting in a coffee shop. Wow. Wow. So all the doors on the side, those are all classrooms. Here we have an empty classroom. So I'm going to show you guys what our classrooms look like. Very basic, very boring, there's really nothing to see. Um, moving on! There's just so many places where a person can sit over here. <laughs> How exciting! More coffee shop vibes. This is where we sit and have conversations. I guess that's what it's called. On the wall, we have moss. Real, actual moss, straight from Canada, growing on our walls. Okay, now I'm gonna show you guys my favorite part about the university. This. This is rich kid shit, okay? This is technologically advanced Dubai living 20, in 20, 20, 30 type shit, okay? Here, we have a water dispenser, but it's not your average regular water dispenser. You can grab a paper cup because environmentally friendly, very necessary, very futuristic. And you get to choose what flavor water you want to get. And if you think that's the best part, it's not. Because if you're someone who likes spicy water, you can get sparkling flavored water. But anyway, would you look at that? And if you want to oh. be smart and not... Do you see that fizz? Like... It's like I'm just drinking gas or some shit. Would you like some? No, I'm good. Thank you very much. <laughs> We're not filming this, guys. Moving on. This is pure rich kid shit. One of our classes, not my class, because I haven't graduated yet. Unfortunately, they graduated and they had their faces projected on the Burj Khalifa, man. Have you ever had your face projected onto a building just because you graduated? This is the classroom that I spent the most time in. Why are all of our classes in this classroom? I don't know. But it looks the same. They all look the same. Classrooms are boring. Nobody comes to uni for the classrooms, obviously. At CUD, we have escalators. Woo! In here, there's an exam going on. Oh, shit. Yeah. I believe this is supposed to be some sort of auditorium. More moss! So much moss! And this place is supposed to make classes more fun, except we barely get to stay here. This is a vending machine, and that's about all I have to say about that. More seating areas! More seating areas! More seating areas? More seating areas. Yeah, more seating areas. This is the place where all the nicotine addicts come to hang out. Outside of CUD on the brown benches. No, PG. <laughs> anyway, so a short walk over to the other side of City Walk, and that is our second building or second campus, whatever you want to call it. So now we have made it to our second campus. It's the same campus, it's just a different building. It's called The Hub. Because it's the hub. Over here we have a piano. I'm gonna play us a musical masterpiece. Now if you think there are a lot of seating areas in the MGT campus,
campus. I'm about to walk you through the kingdom of eating areas. The hub. the hub. Let's go. An auditorium, whatever this is. Uh, this is where students watch football games. And would you look at that? Just so many seating areas everywhere created in these round circles where students from every single department can sit in a circle and socialize. Nobody socializes, but we all sit together. So this is the big mama. Um, this is the place where students come to like hang out and like do student activities or whatever. We've got a pool table, two pool tables actually. Hey, where do you get rackets from? I actually wanna play. Okay. I would show you how to play uh, snooker or eight ball pool or whatever the pool, pool table. table is used for, but I don't know where the balls are. Where did they get the balls from? So she said, or he said, first ball. Moving on. I'm gonna take the elevator. And we have made it to the top floor. Right now it's a Saturday and it's exam season, so there are no students, but this campus is like packed with people. But yeah, yeah, that, that's about it. Moving on, moving on. Now I have to whisper because we're going into the library. Books. Computers. So resourceful. Computer tables with no computers. And ports that don't work. Half of these charging ports don't work. That's a, a thing that you need to know if you're coming to see you. Books, 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 books. I actually really like the library, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I don't come here that often, but... Shh, it's the library. I'm sorry. I don't come here that often, but I love the library. Those are like private rooms that you can like book. As you can see, everyone inside is clearly working very hard or hardly working, we'll never know. Oh, this is actually the room that I come to quite often. This is our little uh, quiet study area. Yeah, we sit here a lot. We don't study here a lot, but we sit here a lot. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys the place in the university that I think is really the coolest thing about this university. <gasps> They're open! <laughs> They're never open, by the way. That's shocking. That is shocking. Guys, this is a karaoke room. Our university deadass has a karaoke room, except we don't use it for karaoke rooms. I think people use it for content creation, which is obviously what I'm doing right now. Um, but usually these places are locked and nobody's allowed to actually come in here, as far as I know. But like, look at that! Pretty purple wool! Anyway, next! Did I do that or was that you? I think that was me. I'm not picking it up. <laughs> <laughs> not in video. Okay. Actually, that's on video. I should pick it up. <laughs> I'm a good student. Please don't kick me out. <laughs> See, they are locked. Every single other door is locked. There are other rooms the same as that one, but they're cooler, like they have more lights. And, and like... these ones are basically like podcast rooms. Yeah, they're like way bigger and way nicer and they have like nicer lights and everything. But like, as I said, they're always low. We just got lucky with that one, by the way. This is my favorite place in the entire university, okay? You see that sign over there? Yes, I'm taking you to the bathrooms. Come along, come along, come along. Now look at this. This is one hallway. And we have a bathroom over here. Why are there two doors? How useless. Okay. Bathroom. This bathroom sucks. Okay, it's the first door. So automatically your instinct is to open this door and come into this bathroom. But this bathroom sucks. Because we have another bathroom right next to this one. <laughs> another door. Why? Like literally why? It's like they needed to make like a little uh, thinking station. Like, ooh, do I want to go in? Do I not want to go in? And here's why you should not go in because over here, there's another bathroom. And this is where I spend all of my time. It's such a pretty bathroom. And why did they discriminate with the other bathroom? I literally don't understand. Like, I don't you know, understand one either. Beautiful bathroom and then the other one is just so ugly. I usually sit over here with my friends. Sometimes when I'm really tired, I lie down. Obviously, most seating space. This is where I like to give seminars. Nature. 
and we're out again. Basically, I think the coolest thing about this campus is that we're basically like in a giant mall. Cause like, yeah, people come here like recreationally. People don't just come here for studying. So we're kind of like always in a really fancy mall, I guess. If I'm being really honest, I think everything that I pay for this university is just for the views. Butch Khalifa! Like you're not gonna have views like this at any other university. We've got Macca's, this is everyone's go-to spot. It's literally infested with CUD students every single day. We have an overpriced mini mart. Come on in. Food that I never buy. Oh no, they ran out of sausage rolls. I only come here for the sausage rolls. We have a really prime location. I sound like I'm advertising the university. Like you can see the Burj Khalifa from pretty much everywhere. What's Dubai without its uh, Burj? Right outside CUD, the second you step out after your classes and you're in the mood to, I don't know, spend some money, buy something. Right across the road, we've got Rolls Royce. Let's go buy a car, because why not? 